Hi everybody, B Evans here from ET Digital Design Stress Free Tech. And this video is a tutorial on how to copy a page from one website in Divi over to another Divi website that you might have. So I'm going to take you step by step through it and why you would want to do it. And quite often you might have a page and I've got here a thank you page that I got. And I have it on my main stress-free tech ET digital designs website. And if I want to bring it into one of my other websites, so I have a test website here where I've got some pages. Um, how do you bring them across from the one website to the other? And using Divi, it's really easy. So this is what I would do. So the first thing you've got to do is you have to export the file out of the website where you want to get it from and then you need to import it into the other website so what i would do and I'd, i'll do it using the visual builder you enable your visual builder and you just wait while it loads And then you go to these purple, the purple circle with the dots. Oh, it's loading again. So you go to the purple circle with the dots and you click on it. And then this is importing and exporting. So you click on the two arrows, the one going up and one going down. And first of all, we want to export it and we'll call it the name that the page is on so it's so this is a thank you page for people who signed up to my zapier masterclass and you click on export to divi builder so what it does it exports it and when it's ready it'll say okay where do you want this saved so i'm just going to save it in here these documents And once it's saved, you can close this. So then what you need to do is you, I get out of Visual Builder. I then go to the other website. And what I do is I create Add New. So I add a new page because you've got to create a new page to be able to enter it on your new website. So we just wait while it loads. So it's a landing page. I'll just show you what I do for a landing page. So the page attributes I wanted. To, I want the page to, no, that's all right. Okay. So I'll say use the Divi Builder. Quite often what I do is I give the title. So I might want this just to be the thank you page. I just want it to be thank you. And then I'll use the Divi Builder. Because that way it takes you to the front end builder, the visual builder. And then just click on build from scratch. And just close this and again click on these now what I would do is I publish it because then it can see that there's a page straight away and it's important because in order to be able to import it you've got to import it into a page that exists so then you come here to these two arrows again and you click on it and this time we're going to import and we leave that replace existing content because there's no content there. You click the file and I'm going to go to these documents. And it's got an extension called JSON extension. So you can sort by file extension. See here's JSON files and here it is. Thank you Zapier Masterclass JSON. 
So you find your file, and you click open, and then you click import. Now sometimes this doesn't work. If you're having issues that it's not loading and it's not working, it means the settings on your host are not optimal. So it's not working for you. So you need to set those settings. I've got another tutorial on how to do that. And I'll point to it below. So as you can see, it has brought in, you are in the Zapier Masterclass CA. I'm totally thrilled. So you can edit. So there you are in. I'll just put in and I'm totally thrilled. So that it's not a Masterclass one anymore. And save. And then you can exit exit the visual builder and that's what it looks like and this is on my test website and the original page is here on stress-free tech so that's how you do it to getting it from one website over to another all right V Evans signing off take care be kind to one another and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye